I'm doing something a little bit different today once again. I'm about to do a Ram Runner Drift build, as you saw in the title of the video and the thumbnail. I've seen these around. I've seen them. Pop I know they're popular, and I don't know how, but they actually do drift pretty well. And not only do they drift well, they tandem pretty well. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and buy this car. I'm going to go upgrade it, tune it, and we'll get right onto the roads. So I just finished up upgrading and tuning, just went to the parking lot. Uh, I'm getting disobeyed. Yeah, disobeyed right there. <laughs> He's going to head over. I know he has a, a Ram build too. He's one of the reasons why I'm doing this right now. Oh, and I forgot to mention. <laughs> yes. Yes, if you saw it, I am using a KFC design because <laughs> that is dank. Literally, that's amazing. All right, I'm just going to do my first solo run right now, so... I don't know how this is... Oh, gosh. It's a little weird to get used to. I can tell you that already. <laughs> Dang, this is... This is weird. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is weird. I definitely have to do some more tuning. I can tell you that. All right. Did some more tuning and now disobeys on me the truck. <laughs> this is awesome. Huge truck. Giant trucks. Look at tandeming. <laughs> that is awesome. The tuning definitely seemed to help a bit. Yeah. Oh gosh. Started slowing out and I had no angle. <laughs> Got that wall tap. Oh gosh, that was very, yeah, extremely wide. Oh man, it's hard to do the chase line. I mean, like, if I just floor it, <laughs> then I'm going to get super sideways and not keep up. It's weird. Oh gosh. Yeah, his is tuned way better than mine. He's actually able to drift it, drift it. <laughs> mine just likes, I don't know, getting angle and then just dying out. Oh man, and then it does that, it just goes super wide and doesn't work. Okay, I didn't run too wide, but I kind of cut him off for his follow line. Oh my gosh, with the pull. Oh my gosh. Alright, finally, finally on dry ground. Yeah, this thing is amazing on dry ground. Yes, I did a little bit more tooting, by the way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing on dry ground. I have no tire upgrades. That might have been the reason why in the rain it was just terrible. <laughs> but on when it's dry, this is awesome. Oh gosh, that was a little messy, but dang, this is cool. Oh gosh, that's very wide as well. Oh gosh, that was messy. Gotta hit third gear. Hold it out. There we go. Went through a cop car. <laughs> that works. This thing just holds out with angle. Look at it. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh gosh. Okay, Paul just said no. <laughs> oh, he got in his uh I forgot he made a raptor build too. Very similar to this one, but it's way lower. <laughs> it's slammed. Look at that. That wall tap was good. Oh, come on. Snap back well, okay. This thing's oh my gosh. This is like the Reliant. I can't explain to you how this is how this is possible. <laughs> I mean, I, yes, this car does have a ridiculous amount of horsepower having a, a Ventador engine in it, but it's it's a truck. It's a Dodge Ram. <laughs> Weighs way more than it ever should, and it's drifting. Let's pass him. Ooh. You know, I think KFC should actually do this. KFC and Dodge. 
They need to they need to put a meeting together, just meet up and talk about <laughs> a Ram Runner drift build. Enter it in actual Formula Drift, maybe Pro 2. <laughs> that would be that would be the coolest thing ever, to be honest. If I went to Pro 2 or something and then saw I saw that at Long Beach, wow, that would be that would be amazing. Or actually they'd have to talk to Lamborghini as well, I forgot about that. Throw that Ventador. Oh man, that was yeah. He had a pull. <laughs> Rest in peace. Man, third gear is actually pretty good. I mean, ha! Ah, I really have to work on transitions with this thing, or at least tune it to transition better. But uh, otherwise, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that time it wasn't a bad transition. Hit that clipping point. Almost got a wall tap there. Not so much angle exiting, but it's a truck and it's drifting. It's not really meant for this, so got to give it some slack. Holding it out with a lot of angle, please, snap. Oh, disobeyed. Get his bumper. Yeah, we got his bumper. <laughs> this is awesome. Go ahead and transition that wasn't too bad either yeah it just needs uh i just need to get used to it and then i can i can do this this is awesome drifting next to normal cars is about the greatest thing ever hold on i need this super to get on me there we go look at that basically an ant <laughs> it might as well just be an ant next to me <laughs> ah i'm gone before we before we finish this video up, we gotta try one thing. We are doing because we already got uh, drift just drifting in general checked off the list. Tandems are checked off the list, but or entries are checked off the list. But there's one kind of oh I'm gonna get murdered doing this. But one kind of entry I want to try. No, no, oh my gosh, it goes so far. <laughs> it can't be that. I don't know. Maybe after some practice, maybe uh a bigger distance before the turns <laughs> I don't know let's let's try that one more time and then we're gonna finish this off all right coming in coming in oh man oh he's on me no that was horrible yeah I could not do that one. <laughs> oh my gosh that yeah all right well then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off I mean we were drifting a ram runner <laughs> in our KFC design <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, crazy thing. I've had probably crazy things three times in a row. I mean, what did we do? We went from bus drifting in a Seto Corsa to a uh, cluster truck, first time on my channel, and then this. So, I mean, I hope you guys aren't tired of seeing some insane wild ideas like this, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.